Hi everyone, Niklas Adloff here from IBM and OpenNTF. Yesterday I published a new sample on OpenNTF that shows how to access uh, data from Lotus Connections from X pages and it uses the Connections REST APIs and a an Java open source project called Apache Wink. People have asked me how exactly I, um, I, I do that um, and I want to show in this video how you can set up your NSF to run um, and uh, develop Java code. And also, most importantly, how you can use um, the Java debugger to actually debug your code, which is probably the biggest advantage compared to server-side JavaScript. Um, so let me show you a couple of things. So this is the connection server that I'm using, Bleed Yellow, and I have three bookmarks right here. And this is the same data as you can see here on my bookmark, bookmarks um, X page. So um, let's go into the designer and take a look. So first of, uh, first of all, you can see here the X page and I um, use my um, Java code here to populate the repeat control. Um, and that works because, you know, this method get bookmarks returns a Java collection. Now let's take a look how that, um, how that method looks like. Um, this is the method. It's a static method so that I can call it easily, um, get bookmarks and it runs, returns the collection. And right here it calls the Apache Wink APIs. Now in order to do that, I had to do a couple of things. Um, first of all, I had to create these two subdirectories under webenv, lib and source. Under lib, I had to import my um, 10 or so jar files from the Wink, uh, from Apache Wink, and you can read how exactly I uh, have done that in the um, README PDF on OpenNTF. And then I had to create my uh, an another subdirectory called source, um, and in there um, I put my uh, two Java classes right here. Um, also, once you have done that, you need to define in the um, Java build pass um, that you want to refer to um, these or this new um, directory um, as your source directory um, and you have to define the um, path to your jar files um, under the libraries tab. So once you have done that you will see in your project that it shows you this new entry here um, which is another um, you know entry that contains source code and in here um, I have my um, Java class now. So that's how I've implemented this code. Now next thing I want to show is how you actually can debug it. So in order to do that you have first of all you have to go into the Java perspective and you need to um, create a debug configuration, um, a remote Java application which is just your Domino server. So the project um, needs to be empty and then you just use localhost and the port. Um, in order for that to work, however, you have to do one more thing. You have to launch your um, Domino server in debug mode. Um, and how you can do that, you can read here um, in the documentation of the extension library. Here on page number 10, um, you can see these two settings that you need to put in your notes INI um, for your Domino server. And once you have done that, uh, you will see in the console here this um, this output. And as I've just shown you, this is how you create your debug configuration in Domino Designer. So once you have done all that, <coughs> you can go back in Domino Designer and actually set a debug point. So let's set a debug point right here. And now when I um, go back to my X page and hit refresh, um, and we wait just a second, you will see that the debugger will come up in just a second. Since it's the first time, it needs to compile first. Um, do you want to open the debug perspective? Yes. Now, the very first time you do that, um, it can't find the source and you need to point it to the right directory. So I click here and say um, add Java project and then I just select my, uh, my NSF server feeds demo hit OK, OK, and now um, as you can see it stopped here and I can 
you know, navigate through all of these variables. Let's say the um, atom entry, which is this one here. This is the title. X pages info. That's the title of my first um, bookmark. So thanks a lot for your attention.